One love. Let's get together. Put pig, big pictures on the wall. <laughs> put pictures, put pictures. <laughs> Did you want me to say anything? No. Yeah. What makes you happy? Uh, music. Why? Because it, it's changing my life. I used to be. I'm, 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 I'm frightened to death. I'm so scared of it. I think of it all the time when I'm by myself. Or it's just when I'm with my family. I don't. It's it's, it's like when they're asleep. It's a thought that comes into my head. It's just me. It feels like I'm the only one. I don't want to leave what I've got. What I've, I don't want to leave what I've got behind. That's what I'm really frightened of. I have panic attacks a lot. Um, I'm, I'm like, you know, this, this, I'm, like, I'm, I'm glad that we've motive. This has motivated me a lot to do what I want to do. You know, I've always wanted to get out and do something for the community, music, art, for myself. Um, gain respect from other people. Yeah, I love it. I want to make history and honor. It's about the community, funny faces, put smiles on people's faces yes. as they pass. Try and change everybody. Pass Cinder Lane. Because a lot of shit happened in this lane, anyway. A police officer shot someone here and fully killed him in this land just there. So we're trying to bring spice it back up and bring some light back in this group. Hi, my name's Angus Weatherall. I'm Alistair Rahoy. And we're from Armadale, New South Wales, Australia. Yeah. And we're native Aboriginals. And um, we've been interested in JR's worldwide. We want to be a part of his vision while everybody was still in bed at night. Cold, who's here in the freezing cold? Playing fog. the music loud. <laughs> we flattened the car battery. Phil, get out and dance there, man. Yeah, music pretty much saved my life. It did, I could say, hip hop changed my life. <laughs> Probably this time last year, I was still sitting in sitting in a cell with a stranger, and I got locked up, spent two years in jail, just to steal a laptop so I can start making music. And I got caught for that and got locked up. My first defence, first criminal record ever. I got locked up for two years, and it, I don't know, it did change me. It changed me to not put myself in them positions anymore and think more about my future. And when I got out, I just started doing stuff legitimate. I got in contact with a couple of people beyond Empathy, JR Project, and just started making music again and it's practically lifted me off my feet. It lifted me out of the ground, <laughs> saved my life. Um, sort of made us forget about our pasts and think more about the future. Um, try and make a better future for our community and the next generation of Aboriginals that living in Armadale, not just here, probably the whole Australia and Indigenous all over the world. Say hello to the camera, please. Hello, hello. Day two of putting the posters up on the wall here in Cinders Lane, tragic Cinders Lane. Um, 
Yeah. We just we put five up the other day, and we're gonna put another five up tonight for the community. There's some music in the background to keep us going. Got some sparklers for the kids. Yeah, uh, watch out. Gonna get one. <laughs> What's happening right now? Um, they're just putting up another poster right here. End of the life. As you can see. That's Davis, by the way. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Just put my pace up. How do you reckon the people in Armadale are going to like it? I reckon they're going to freak out. Once they see it. So, yeah. It's worth it. It was worth seeing the faces on the people that were coming to work at the park in this very car park the next morning and parked in front of that when the day before there was nothing there. There was nothing on that wall. They was just looking at that plain brick wall for the, however long they was working and they come to work this morning, the next morning and seen something different. I'm sure they would have smiled. Anybody would have smiled. They would have laughed. They, they would have laughed. I know that dude there. <laughs> what, what is the effect that this has on the community, do you think? Happiness. Happiness probably because now they've got a sto another story to tell. Yeah. Instead of that story about the guy being shot in this lane, they could say, Hello. oh, I remember when the guys put them pictures up on Hello. the wall a couple of years back, you know, of themselves. Hello. It was real funny. Man, we gotta, you know, they'll probably do it next year. We gotta do that. We gotta start doing this, boys. We might inspire other people to do it, you know?